Good morning, my dear students. It gives me immense pleasure to talk to your students through video presentations as usual. Those who want to have automatic notification about the new videos being uploaded in the channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. Those who want to reach more people after watching such videos, share with your friends and relatives and known circle. You can advise them to subscribe and watch since subscription has no charges. In the previous video meant for class 10 of CBSE, we discussed the application of solving system of simultaneous equations, linear equations to variables using arrow diagram method. In this particular video presentation, we will take one example as a recap of how to go about arrow diagram method and then we will proceed with the solution of such equations using graphical method. Okay, just listen. Solve using arrow diagram method. Let me take the example over here. Ax plus by is equal to a square plus b square. Bx minus ay to b is equal to 0. Now, I am talking about arrow diagram method or rule of cross multiplication method. The rule says start writing from the middle coefficient b a square plus b square a again b then minus a 0 b again minus a in between the first two entries write x in between the second and third entries write y in between the third and fourth entries write minus 1 provided constants are in right hand side the constants are in LHS. I will put minus a square plus b square here. 0, 1 gets 0 is neither positive nor negative. Therefore, there is no sign over here. It does not matter. Put 1 over here. Remember that rule carefully. By the rule of cross multiplication, by the rule of cross multiplication, we get, what do I get? x divided by 0 plus a into a square plus b square is equal to y divided by b into a square plus b square minus 0. Okay, sorry. Minus 0. Okay, is equal to minus 1 divided by minus of, or oh, you can even write this as minus a square minus b square. Okay, cross multiply, take first and uh, third ratio, second and third ratio, they get x and y accordingly. Now for x is equal to a into a square plus b square divided by a square plus b square. Now for this gets reduced to simply a. y will be is equal to b into a square plus b square divided by a square plus b square. Here this minus sign will be cancelled automatically is equal to b. Now for x is equal to a, y is equal to b, is the solution, is the required solution or solution either way. You can write, I already told you so many times. I just repeat the answer once again. Let me check the answer once again. A, B, Y is equal to A square plus B square. B, X minus A, Y equal to 0. These are the two equations given. For the application of rule of cross multiplication, I should start writing from the middle coefficient. B, A square plus B square, A, again B. Minus A, 0, B, minus A, again. In between the first two entries, write x. In between the second and third entries, write y. In between the third and fourth entries, write minus 1, provided the constants are in right hand side. If the constants are in LHS, put plus 1 here, and this will become minus of a square plus b square. This will become 0 because 0 is neither positive nor negative. I can't write it as, I need not write it as plus 0 or minus 0. Okay. By the rule of cross multiplication, we get x divided by, I did not put arrow marks over here, sorry, just uh, put arrow marks over here, put arrow here, for, just to show that this is how we multiply, okay, just x divided by 0 minus into minus plus a into a square plus b square, is equal to y divided by b into a square plus b square minus 0, is equal to minus 1 divided by minus a square minus b square, therefore this will become 1 by a square plus b square, this minus gets cancelled anyway. Where x becomes a into a square plus b square by a square plus b square. a square plus b square gets cancelled. We get it to be a. Now y becomes b into a square plus b square by a square plus b square. Therefore y is b. Now, x equal a, y equal b is the solution. 
substitute and check it should satisfy both the equations I already told you a into a plus b into b is a square plus b square b into a minus a into b a b minus a b is 0 now it satisfies both the equations therefore my solution x is equal to a y is equal to b is correct just to have a recap of uh, the previous result what we discussed in the previous video I have discussed this particular problem okay now to proceed with graphical solution I will tell you how we go about it similar to the previous cases you will be given two equations automatically to draw any straight line we need to have it is enough to have minimum of two points taking two or even three points let us plot those points and I will just draw the equations okay draw the lines sorry draw the lines meant for the corresponding equations if those two lines let us say intersect at a particular point the point of intersection for example if this point is 1 comma 2 x equal 1 y is equal to 2 will be the solution if they both are parallel parallel lines will never intersect the practical example if you are is your railway track in the case of meter gauge uh, assume between the uh, two rails will be 1 meter. In the case of uh, broad gauge, it will be something like approximately 1.6 meters. Now, for it, the uh, rails will never meet. Okay. Next, and uh, if they both are points, end, the both the equations are the same. Okay, both the uh, equations represent the same straight line. Now, for all the points in the line will satisfy both the equations. It means there are infinitely many solutions for the given system of equations. Let me repeat. I'll take a minimum of two points to draw the lines corresponding to each of the two equations given in the question. After plotting the points, we draw both the lines. If they both intersect as drawn over here, just an example, rough example. Okay, we'll do problems now. For example, if they both meet at 1, 2, x equal to 1, y equal to 2 is the solution I am supposed to take down and write. If they both are parallel like this, parallel lines will never meet at all. Now, for in such case, I will say there is no solution for the given system of equation. If they both are the same line, they both represent the same straight line. Thus, in such case, I will say they both are coincident. Okay, the lines are coincident. Now, each and every point on the line will satisfy both the equations. Now, for in such case, I will just conclude that there are infinitely many solutions for the given system of the equations. I can take down and write two such points from the equation and then write the solution. Okay, now let me take one example. Solve x plus y is equal to 2, 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. Okay, let me just draw. Okay, let me take uh, uh, measurements and draw if you want. That is also good for us. Okay. Let me just uh, take equal distances and then drop. Let us take equal distances and drop. Okay. Let us just take equal distances. Just see here. just write the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 0, this is x dash o x, okay, this is y o y dash, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, I'll just put f y equal 0, I'll get it. x equal to 2, therefore it passes to 2 comma 0, put x equal 0, y is 2, it passes through 0 comma 2, then it will pass through 1 comma 1 also, you can just check, this is 1, this is 1, this is this much, okay joining these i will get this particular line this is nothing but x plus y is equal to 2 now similarly uh, take uh, y is equal to 0 x is 2.5 it is somewhere else in the middle over here okay let it be 2.5 somewhere else in the middle it passes through x is 1 y is 1 it passes through 1 also therefore joining these two points this is the line i will get okay if you look at it this is my 
2x plus 3y is equal to 5. Okay, they both meet at the point 1 comma 1. You can just check this is 1, this is 1. Okay, now for the given two lines, given two lines intersect, intersect at 1 comma 1. Now for solution is x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Now 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Therefore, my answer is correct. Let me just explain once again. When y is 0, x is 2. It passes through 2, 0. When x is 0, y is 2. It passes through 0, 2. Just two points will do. Join which I will get a straight line. Write the equation x plus y is equal to 2. Put y equal to 0. It is 5 by 2 means 2.5. It is in between middle midpoint between 2 and 3. Okay. Then when uh, y is 1, x is also 1. You can just check if it passes through 1, 1. Join those two points. You need minimum two points to draw the straight line. That is enough for you. Now, for you will get it to be the line two x plus three y is equal to five. If you look at it carefully, the given two lines intersect at one comma one. Now, for solution is x is equal to one, y is equal to one. You can check one plus one is equal to two. Two plus three is five. Satisfies satisfies both the equations. Now, for solution is correct. My solution is correct. Okay, and you can just uh, draw lines also, okay, with, uh, I mean, uh, uh, tablet column also to represent the points. Okay, when x is 2, y is 0, when uh, uh, x is 0, y is 2, etc. You can draw a tablet column also. You can write a scale on x axis 1 cm equal to unit, y axis 1 cm equal to unit, etc. Write the scale also so that you are very perfect in explaining the things to our teacher okay teacher should be able to follow that you have followed everything thoroughly you have understood everything thoroughly okay that is how your answer should be okay next example x plus y is equal to 4 just listen carefully and of course 2x plus 2y is equal to 8 listen carefully 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 now when y is 0 x is 4 Passes through 4 comma 0. When x is 0, y is 4. And for joining these two, I will get the straight line x plus y is equal to 4. Okay, when here again, when y is 0, x is again 4. When x is 0, y is again 4. Again, the second line also passes through the same set of points. And for the same equation, the second equation represents the same straight line. Let me explain once again. When y is 0, x is 4, it passes through 4, 0. When x is 0, y is 4, it passes through 0, 4. Joining these two points, I will get x plus y is equal to 4. Put y equal to 0, here x is 4, it passes through 4, 0. When y is 0, uh, x is 0, sorry, x is 0, y is 4, it passes through 0, 4. Therefore, the second, sorry, this is 8. Okay, therefore, the two equations represent the same straight line. Therefore, two lines here. Two lines here are coincident. Coincident. Therefore, each and every point, each and every point on the line, on the line will satisfy both the equations. Both the equations. Okay. Any line has infinitely many points infinitely many points therefore there are infinitely many solutions infinitely many solutions this is how you should conclude okay just to name a few x equal to 4 y equal to 0 is one such solution x equal to 0 y equal to 4 is one such solution you can easily say or when x is 1, y is 3. 1 comma 3 is a solution. You can just check 1 comma 3. 1 comma 3 is a solution. We a point on that. Okay. Let me explain once again. These are the two equations given. Put y equal to 0, x is 4. Put x equal to 0, y is 4. It passes through 4 comma 0, 0 comma 4. Join those two points and draw the line and name the equation. Y is 4, x is 4. Uh, y is 0, sorry. X is 4. When x is uh, uh, 0, y is 4. You get the same equation, of course. Therefore, you are able to observe both the equations represent the same straight line. 
Now for two lines here are coincident. Now for each and every point on the line will satisfy both the equations. Any line has infinitely many points. Therefore, there are infinitely many solutions to the given two equations or given system of equations you can write. Okay, just to name a few, x equal to 4, y equal to 0, x equal to 0, y equal to 4, and x is 1, y is 3, and x is 2, y is 2, okay, 2, 2, 2, comma 2 is also a point, you can just shape 2, comma 2, I did a rough diagram, but I will, I'm able to identify the point, okay, therefore the second possibility tells you there are infinitely many solutions for the given system, they are drawing the lines and then getting the solution, therefore it's called graphical method of getting the solution okay third possibility let us take x plus y is equal to 3 of course solve then x plus y is equal to 8 just listen carefully or just for easy convenience let me take it as 5 okay i need not go up to 8 okay 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 put y equal to 0 x is 3 Put x equal 0, y is 3, it passes through 3 comma 0 and 0, 0 comma 3. This is my equation x plus y is equal to 3. Then even in the previous this thing you write x dash o x etc. We go y dash etc. Then y is 0, x is 5. When x is 0, y is 5. So this is my line. Okay, this is my straight line. Okay. If you observe carefully, they both are parallel. Okay, we observe here, we observe here that both the lines are both the lines are parallel. Parallel to each other. Parallel to each other. Therefore, there is no solution. There is no solution for the given system of equations, given system of equations as parallel lines, parallel lines will never intersect. Parallel lines will never intersect. Okay, let me just explain once again. These are the two equations given. When y is 0, x is 3. When x is 0, y is 3. And for the line passes through, 3 comma 0, 0 comma 3. I'll draw the line, x plus is equal to 3. Now here, y is 0, x is 5. When x is 0, y is 5. It passes through 5 comma 0, 0 comma 5. I can draw. We observe that here that both the lines are parallel to each other. Therefore, there is no solution to the given system of equations. As parallel lines will never intersect at all. They will never intersect. Okay. Now for I've taken an example where there is unique solution. They intersect a particular point. The point of intersection will give you the corresponding x and y coordinate will give, coordinates will give you the corresponding solution. And the lines are coincident, we have taken. For there are infinitely many solutions. The lines are parallel here, we have taken. Therefore, there is no solution in this particular case. It is already 18 minutes, of course. Okay, therefore, we will continue in the next video. Okay, and if there is any correction, I will definitely add it up if needed. Okay, thank you, my dear students, for patient watching.